Hey y'all, it's Friday, and this week's topic is role models. Now, I'm assuming that this is pertaining to examples of gender identity that you can look up to and use as role models, and as a non-binary person, a lot of the time it's very difficult to find role models because there aren't really many, if any, people in the public eye who actively identify as non-binary. But the gender of people that I look up to never really was important to me, especially when I was younger. The main people that I remember looking up to when I was younger were Freddie Mercury, Kurt Cobain, and Gerard Way. But there were also a lot of female characters that I looked up to in cartoon shows or movies, like I really related to Princess Mononoke when I was younger. So the gender identity of the people that I was looking up to was never really important, but I was always attracted to gender non-conforming characters, regardless of their identity or sex or anything like that. So I always really related to feminine men and masculine women kind of equally. It was always more important to me what type of person they were rather than what their gender was. The ability to actively identify as non-binary has been kind of a recent thing as far as trans rights and stuff like that, so there's a lot of people who possibly would have identified as non-binary if that kind of thing had been accessible to them. But I will say that one of the main difficulties when I was coming out and dealing with my own identity as a non-binary person was the lack of accessible role models of people of that identity. So the only thing that I've done to try to improve that is to kind of try to be a role model um, through being very public about my identity and through doing trans advocacy work for non-binary people, I've really tried to put myself out there as a visible non-binary person so that even if I'm not a role model, I'm at least a visible example of someone like me because I know the very few non-binary YouTubers that I could find were very influential in me coming to terms with who I was. So I think that when we're talking about role models specifically for non-binary people, the best thing that I have to say is that if you can, try to be a role model because we don't really have much other than ourselves. And yeah, I think that's all I really have to say on that topic. I'll see you next week. Peace out.